Hey YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a sub mix to master here in the mixer itself. The last video showed you guys how to add different effects into each channel or each pattern, alright? So you can add different effects into each pattern. But what I'm going to show you guys now is how to add effects to all patterns in your mixer. And the only way to do so is by, um, you want to select an empty slot under insert only. So like not send, but insert seven, eight, nine, whatever. So click it and then right click it. And then you're going to see create submix to. So I want to create submix to master. And what this does, it means that every sound in here has to go through this submix before it gets to the master. So every effect that I add or anything has to go through this before it can get to the master volume. All right. And that's how we can achieve not peaking up here, meaning the red zone. Um, so like if I click here now and point up, you can see the red zones up there. So by the way, guys, this is not like one of my remakes of Roger that or anything like that I'm just doing this as an example this is not trying or anything like that I just want to make that clear so um, basically just go back into your mixer and then under set mix a couple of things that I do to help from peaking everybody has their own different things that they do just do whatever works for you I feel that my music doesn't peak anymore However, I do tend to have a lot of a lot of hi hat, but um, I'm still working on that right now. But um, this is what I do to help keep my volume levels low, without like compromising how quiet the song is at the same time. If that makes sense. So basically, I click here, and then I choose the multi band comp compressor right here. And this is just going to compress all the sounds, but I use these default settings. So you're going to right click this second arrow right here, right by the X. And then you want to grow down to mastering 2.4 dB. And I got this off of somebody's video, by the way, a while back. And it's helped me for the past three months or so um, have a little bit better quality in my music than before. So, um... Yeah, so after you do that, just check out, you know, if it sounds any different. I'm still peaking. So I'm still peaking. So that's not done. Another thing I need to click is um, this part right here. And then we're going to scroll down until we find parametric EQ2. So we're going to click that. And then you want to scroll down to 40 hertz plus 18 kilohertz cut. So I'm going to click that. And then you want to drag over just a little bit. You don't have to do that, but I drag it over just a little bit because there's ones in there um, that I want it to pick up. All right. And so click X. All right. And let's see if that made a difference. I doubt it, but let's see. So when that fails, what you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to add Maximus. All right. This is going to make it way louder, but that makes it to where you can quiet down your master channel a little bit. So you want to right click the second arrow once again and then master aid one. So press that. That's all you need to do in there. So it got way louder. So I need to quiet down this master. No peaking. So as you can see what happened there is actually the music is even even louder than it was before, but I'm not peaking right there. So um I don't know if you guys noticed that. I'll play it once again. I'm still on the part where all my instruments are playing. So we're going to press play. Now, 
Now, the part that I just realized that I didn't do in all of my other remakes is when I when you do add the uh, the Maximus in, it is going to bring out all of your high pitched sounds a lot more than usual also, which is the clap and the hi hat in this in this song right here. And um, I don't know if you guys notice in any of my new remakes, like my I'm on one remake or um, just any remake that's within the past couple months, the audio quality has sounded a lot better. My bass is better, everything. But my hi-hat was always a little too loud. So what you want to do is make sure that you turn it down just a little bit in here. And then also the clap can come down a little bit also. And so let's let's test that out and see what that sounds like. And that sounds a lot better. So that's how you guys create a submix to your master. You never want to turn down the submix volume. The reason why is because you know, you just want all of your sounds to go through the submix. So keep the volume level the same, no matter what, because all you're going to do is just mess up a bunch of things. You want to only change the master volume. And having this submix to master allows you to change the master volume without changing every sound that's within it. Because you have all your things running through the submix instead of just the master. So like um, the difference with this than than uh, before the submix is before the submix, if you turn up the master volume just a little bit, it'll just change the levels of all your all of your sounds. And so say like your bass, your kick, and your hi hat and your 808 or whatever sounded good at the stock master level, but you turned it up and then it's just all distorted out of nowhere, but your hi hat's still the same volume or whatever. It's just uh, changing the levels a lot. So you want to make sure that you only change the master volume when you have submix and no matter if you turn it up or down, it's going to stay at the same levels, but it's just going to be more distorted, if that makes sense, too. But, um, you know, if you guys have any additional questions or something was confusing, because I kind of confused myself. It's midnight where I'm at. I'm tired, <laughs> so I don't really think I'm all there. But if there's anything that you need qu or have questions with or anything, please be feel free to comment. Also, if you haven't visited my blog, please do so at flstudio123.blogspot.com. And also, if this video has helped you in any way, uh, despite my tiredness, you know, go on and subscribe and like to this or like this video. Thank you.